hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is e joma so today's video i'm going to be talking about the five or six things i definitely miss about living abroad living abroad comes with its own pecs and pills right so today i thought about doing a video of the things i really definitely miss even right now i'm like oh my god i miss this thing about living abroad so it's something that maybe you guys if you've ever been outside maybe for studies can relate to or you get my point you understand so let's get started one thing i miss so much is the safety the security knowing that at least you will go out and come back like let's say late at night as late as 10 p.m 11 p.m like that i know that you are going to be safe it's just something i miss because in Nigeria by 6 p.m. you better start going to your house because I don't know what you're looking for outside you know just knowing that you're going to be safe somehow even if you're a foreigner in that place it's just reassuring that doesn't mean that it's every time I go out at night but like those times especially during summer where you have longer days and shorter nights it's like when it's 6 p.m still kind of bright when it's 10 p.m you know i remember one time i was out like i think for a friend's um birthday celebration and then my mom called me she called me and asked me that oh that place is noisy where are you i was like i'm outside and it was 10 p.m that time she was like you're outside what are you doing outside remember i thought i was talking to someone that was in europe you know because like your parents might never understand what you're doing outside by that time i was like um don't worry i'm okay i'm okay she's like go inside now like what what are you doing outside especially the city i was staying in taxi is so cheap that everyone literally takes taxi like outside the country as outside of um, ukraine in other european countries people don't dare take taxis because it's like you can't even even foreigners they don't take taxis they take the um public transport they take metro they take tram especially in my city but if you stay in the bigger cities of course you want to run away from taxis but averagely ukraine is an affordable place to live and not just that when it comes to affordable transport like i can go to any city i want to go to today if i want to go to potawa i just book my ticket online tan, 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 tan. i miss systems i miss like a place where the system is working do you guys understand what i'm saying and also you can also get to like there are other european countries surrounding neighboring the country you can go to all these countries you want to you just need small cash and it's not expensive because if you, if you cannot afford flights you can take train you can take bus people take bus to travel i really do miss the cheap internet when i came back i was telling people that internet is not expensive and they're asking me that like in you know there's a way you can say internet is not expensive but they're asking me that elaborate and i told them that for one month you can pay 100 gravings for your router in your house and it's unlimited for a month they could not believe it because 100 gravings like at the time was like 1000 naira but i don't know how much it is now in naira but it's, it's not be more than one five in this nigeria oh my god your money can finish on data because it's like no matter how much data you up, you you subscribe for this there is no guarantee of unlimited big data there is no guarantee definitely means this about ukraine one time i noticed that ah i have not heard honking sounds before like of vehicles this is something that i really really do not like it's like ping pong pong I don't know if you can hear something like while I'm filming because I can't hear that this sound. It's something I dislike. But in Europe, like in, when I was in Ukraine, I hardly heard it. And I was told that I think it's even part of their law. You, you don't just honk. Like you don't just honk. Can you hear that? Can you? Can you? That is confirmation. In the approach, is hard for you to hear that sound. That thing I miss about living abroad is the cheap, like when it comes to some things like, and I think I understand why. Even my chocolate, my toffee, I mean my toffee a lot. There's this toffee I really like. Oh, 
Lord, 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 Lord. I even brought some to Nigeria, but you know those things never last. So if anybody, this stuff here, I'm going to put it here or here. If anybody is coming, you're looking for what to, you're thinking, oh, what can I get for this YouTube and content creator? And you're coming from Ukraine, just get me this stuffy. Just medium size and cream is like 800 naira. What I get for like less than 200 naira in Ukraine. Oh my god. And I always want my hand cream, especially during the dry season. Like, I cannot be going out with ashes skin, egg by me. So, and the thing is expensive. Even wet wipes and um, t uh, tissue, those small, small tissue box, small, small tissue box that you can put in your bag. I just miss having those things. And lastly, I miss modeling. I didn't think I would say this, but I actually miss like getting calls like, oh, are you free? Where will you be free? We want you to help us model for this brand. Ah, I just miss the thrilling, the thrills of it. Like, oh my God, I'm going to go and wear different clothes and like, you know, stand in front of the camera and like pose. But this is what I miss about living abroad. All right, guys, that's all for today. What are the things that you miss, definitely miss about living abroad? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you, and see you in another video. Bye.